Hello viewers, though late by a day, surely 11 standard also will benefit through this video. Leave out all the textual questions and look at the vocabulary section and other one mark questions. So this is the answer key to yesterday's 12th standard English question paper. Now just look at this one. First question, when our ridicule overstep the limits, Amma would pretend to chide us. So here the underlying word is chide. The answer is cold. Then the next one. I experience not only agony and fear but also anger. You can see that agony is underlined and the answer is option D suffering. Now third one. The snow on this face was dangerous but we persisted in our efforts to beat a prey up it. The correct answer C is continued for persisted synonyms. Now we move on to the antonyms. We have a whole kingdom in which we rule, etc. Be wise or ridiculous, conventional or odd. The underlying word is conventional. The antonym is abnormal. Conventional, according to your book, it is normal. So the antonym is abnormal. We move on to the next antonym. I opened it the way I had the first and its contents vanished. Vanished, appeared. Vanished antonym, appeared. Sixth one, everything is so difficult now. Food is so scarce and dear. Scarce is rare. So the antonym is adequate. Now here onwards you get all general vocabulary. From question 7 onwards it is general. Now the question is, choose the word that can be added after good to form a compound word. And the options are will, idea, news, deed. Now if you say good idea or good news or good deed, they are two words. But if you write good will, it is a single word. So it is a compound word. So option A, will. The next one, eighth question. Choose the right combination of words used to form the blended word staycation. So stray plus education, no. Stray plus allocation, no. Stay plus location, no. The correct answer is D, stay plus vacation. Stay plus vacation is staycation. Now the next one, this is found in your midnight visitor, after the text, you got this information. The various intelligence agencies of different countries. So choose the right expansion of the acronym RAW. RAW is option B, research and analysis B. Now 10th question, fill in the blanks with the appropriate word. I do wish that Joel wouldn't leave dash of water on the landing. When you say dash of water, remember your Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. So here it is plural. So the right answer is option C, pails. P-A-I-L-S. It is not peels. Peels refers to peels of laughter. Sound. Piles. Piles is an accumulated content. And P-A-L-E-S doesn't exist. Pale is an adjective. He turned pale. So pails is simply given to confuse you. So the right answer is pails. Pails means buckets. Replace the underlying word in the given sentence with its unclipped form. The pleasant music at the party is spreading good vibes among the guests. All of us know that vibes stands for vibrations. Option A, vibrations. Then the next is misspelt word. Choose the word that has been misspelt. Encouragement, correct spelling. Precautionary, correct spelling. Unambiguous, correct spelling. But look at this one. Misappropriate. Instead it is misappropriate, which is wrong. So the correct answer is option C, misappropriate, which is misspelled, spelled wrongly. Then, choose the right meaning of the idiom in the given sentence. I did not become Lord Wiston by twiddling, twiddling my thumbs and hoping for favours. Twiddling my thumbs. When do you do that? When you are sitting idly. So the answer to that idiom is option D, being idle. Now 14. Choose the word that cannot form a derivative with suffix ship. Now children cannot form. So many of you are looking at champion. You linked it up and you have written championship. So be careful. My 11th standard students please read the question paper carefully. So it is cannot form. See championship correct word. Craftsmanship correct word. Apprenticeship correct word. So the answer is container. You never say containership. It is wrong. Then 15, choose the monosyllabic word from the given options. One syllable, trifle. As you can see, two syllables. Alarm. Many of you have gone wrong. You've written alarm. Alarm. Two syllables wrong. Option C, vague. Only one sound. So that is the answer. Option D, worthy. Wrong. 
So, option C, vague is the monosyllabic word. Now, 16th one. The police seized a lorry loaded with smuggled goods. Underline word is lorry. Replace the British English word with its equivalent in American English. So, answer is B, truck. Then, fill in the blank with a suitable sentence connective. It's already very late and you can't leave now. Dash, it is raining heavily. So, you're giving additional information. There are two things. What is the first one? It being late. And second one, it is also raining heavily. So, the correct answer is moreover, not meanwhile. So, option A, moreover, it is raining heavily. That is the answer. Then, 19th one. The task force managed to complete the project on time. Dash many challenges. So, they completed the project in spite of. It's obvious there. So, option D, in spite of. And the last one, write pattern, sentence pattern. We subject must not throw work. We must not throw what? Garbage, object, where? On the streets. So, the pattern as you can see is C, S, V, O, A. Now, students, we continue with the next session. That is answer to grammar and the other one word questions. So, look at this sentence. Do as directed. Answer any three questions. This is your question. After removing the shoes, the boy jumped into the river. So, after removing, this is a simple sentence. You are asked to rewrite it as a compound sentence. Compound sentence, two main clauses and a conjunction in between. So, just give the meaning of this. What did the boy do? He removed his shoes. Then, what did he do? He jumped into the river. So, just explain that. The boy removed the shoes and then or and jumped into the river. The boy removed the shoes and jumped or and then jumped into the river. My parents do not allow me to eat junk food. Rewrite using the passive form. So, my parents do not allow whom? Me. So, me changes to I. Then present tense, do not allow. So, I am not allowed to eat junk food by my parents or I am not allowed by my parents to eat junk food. So, the agent can occur anywhere. Then, Mickey Mouse is one of the most popular cartoon characters among children. Now, mind this phrase, one of the. So, when you get one of the, when you rewrite it in the comparative, you must get more than most other or more than many other. So, Mickey Mouse is more popular than many other or than most other cartoon characters among children. So, that is your answer in the comparative form. Let us move on to the next segment. This is question 46A. Just a moment. Fill in the blanks appropriately. So, first one. The dash stored the unsold grain bags in the dash. So, in the dash means an object. The dash stored. So, it refers to a human being who is storing something. So, in the first blank we get seller. The seller, S-E-L-L-E-R, a person who is doing something. The seller, what did he do? He stored the unsold grain bags in the where, in which place? C-E-L-L-A-R, in the cellar. That is what is written here. The seller stored the, the unsold grain bags in the cellar. <coughs> the children are very happy with the new car. Add a suitable question tag. The children are, so you take your tag from there, are, sentence is affirmative, so tag is negative. Contracted form N apostrophe T aren't. Then who are we talking about? The children. Use the pronoun they. Aren't they? That is your answer. Then third one. Malati is dash a great singer, dash a talented violinist. So you should fill in the blanks with a correlative conjunction. So Malati is not only a great singer, but also a talented violinist. Then fourth one, if I dash your message, I would have come to the airport to receive you. Would have come is future perfect. So in the if clause, you must have the past perfect. That is type 3 if clause. So if I had seen, H-A-D had, S-E-E-N, seen. So past perfect tense. So participle, C-E-E-N. If I had seen your message, I would have come to the airport to receive you. Now error spotting. My mother asked me, when would I return from school? Now, when would I return is wrong grammar there. It is still a question. So, my mother asked me when I would return from school. Remember the rules for your transformation from direct to indirect. So, when will you return? When I would return from school. Not when would I. 
there weren't much women tourists in the group so much women tourists women tourists they are countable so there weren't many women tourists in the group then our favorite one of the structure one of my sister lives in canada so i have five sisters one sister lives in canada so one of my sisters lives in canada there's nothing wrong with lives one sister lives that is correct i have five sisters so one among them one of my sisters one of the plus plural noun plus singular verb one of my sisters lives in canada the captain as well as the soldiers were ready to face the enemy assault the captain as well as whenever you get as well as with together with along with you look at the first subject if the first subject is singular the verb is singular if the first subject is plural the verb is plural here the captain is singular so the captain as well as the soldiers was ready to face the enemy assault was ready you consider them as one unit so single unit therefore it is singular then the next one is very simple i borrowed these books at the library normally you borrow from someone so i borrowed these books from the library so with this one mark is over i would just give you a small tip on writing three inferences it is an interesting question so all of you are familiar with the ipl cricket matches and all so here question 40 you got this one study the following table and write three sentences of what you infer from this so you got the team's name the matches played those that they won those that they lost those with no results and then the points that they've scored and then net run rate so you can compare my sentences look at the table and see whether they are right i'm going to write three sentences so first one is the gujarat titans stand first with a win of 10 out of 14 matches in the ipl 2023 you can write stand first or stood first it depends upon your uh, mean your uh, understanding it could be either the present or the past in chennai super kings lucknow super giants and mumbai indians have won 8 out of 14 matches each but they differ in the net run rate you can infer that from the table and then mumbai indians have scored the least points with a negative net run rate that can also be understood seen in the table so dear levinstan students all these general questions are for your reference so you can watch this video and get trained in answering these questions or such questions similar type of questions in your examinations tomorrow wish you all the very best and 12th standard students i know you've done well so wish you success and wish you a very good score thank you students